when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me What's good with y'all? Alright, so what are we getting into today? So today we're about to be heading to our boy Bethos and we're about to be taking the Turbo Rado over there. That way he can come up with a game plan and figure out a mood of attack for the Turbo Rado. If you guys seen the last video, you guys will know that I went over to uh, Bethos, rode in his 1080 horsepower uh, single cab and... It was it, it was pretty 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 insane. After riding that, I wanted to have Betho check my truck out, uh, figure out what we need to do, and come up with a game plan, man. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna want to do more stuff to it, so you know it's going to the right person to figure out what exactly we about to be doing, man. Cause I need my shit to feel like that, bro. That thing felt it felt good. And I think maybe sometime this weekend, I'm gonna probably pull this axle. Out. Last time I took this thing out, did a pull. Wow, broke another axle. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna try to get this thing replaced sometime this weekend because I do miss driving this car. This car don't get enough love for how sick this thing is. But you know, for me, it was just like the turn off on this car was the paint job. So that's why I kind of just be like, yeah, about the whole car. But you know, I need to start finishing up and getting this thing back on the channel, man. Because it's overall, it's a sick build, sick build overall, and I really do love this car. So. I want to drive it, man. It's summertime. It's the shit that needs to be pulled out. So, yeah. Today, we're going to be in the Turbo Rado. And for those that have been keeping up on IG, man, you guys have been seeing that I've been hinting and talking about possibly maybe doing a giveaway on this car. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I am thinking about getting rid of it, possibly. I know some people were like, man, this is the car that kind of birthed the channel, was a staple on the, on the channel, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I started my YouTube channel based on this car, but I think the car that really held the channel and boosted the channel was the SC300. And to be completely honest right now, the thing that's been keeping the channel afloat would honestly be probably the C6, I would have to say. But, I mean, we got a mixed crowd of everybody here, man. You got people that love the, uh, the SC, people that love the FD, even though I don't vlog it much, people that love the 350. Surprisingly, we have people that love the Nightmare Headache uh, C5, but, you know, this thing seems to be doing fine. And then, you know, there's people that love the C6 and the truck, so um, it's cool. We got a, ride, a wide variety of people on the channel that, that fuck with everything, but, you know, for me, I've, like, this would, this would be a hard one for me to get rid of if I got rid of this car. So I've owned this car and the SE the longest out of any of the cars that I own right now. Uh, this is pretty much the last car that I built like myself. You know, now a lot of the cars go to the shop, but this is the car that I literally put together in Granny's uh, driveway, man. It was like not much help with this thing uh, other than like my boy Jamar helping with a few things and Janky doing the fab work. But other than that, like this was the like the last of the i guess you could say cars that were like oh this is built by by myself really didn't go to a shop much but yeah man this would be a bittersweet thing if i got rid of this but i'm also to the point where it's kind of like i feel like i'm outgrowing this car if that makes sense it's like i've had it for so long um you know there's other other things that i want to do but i don't know it's hard to it's hard to say whether I, i'm gonna get rid of this uh the other option for me, what I really want to do is I really want to Jay-Z swap this. If you guys were here literally since day one, you guys remember my Teal 300ZX that I used to drift? Uh, the plan for my Teal 300ZX, even though it was a built VG30, was to always 2J swap that car. Like, I've always been a huge, huge, huge 2J fan. And granted, my VG was built. It never blew up. It made power. It was reliable as shit. So I never got a chance to do it because the car got, you know, rear-ended. But... You know, uh, if I was to keep this, I would have to either 1J or 2J swap this. Like, I feel like I've just outgrown the SR. It's a sick build with the SR in it, don't get me wrong. This SR was my first turbo motor that, you know, I ever did. So I've had this motor for God knows how many years. It's been rebuilt hella times until I finally got the recipe right. These were the first real wheels that I ever, like, bought and built myself. So, you know, this car has a lot of stuff from my 240 in it that you know has a lot of sentimental value so um even look look at these big ass huge brakes bro 
thing got the stop text on there. But I don't know, man. We'll see. If I got rid of it, it would not come with these wheels for sure. Like, these would have to stay. But, anywho, with all that being said, we're going to get ready to head out. You might want to get a jacket, sir. <laughs> Let me have to come come grab a car wash real quick, man. I wish I had power windows. I roll this nigga window down. <laughs> Yeah, get all them bugs, baby. Get all them bugs. Throw the like window down. Watch out, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> How you doing, man? What's good, bro? How's it going? It's all good, man. Thank you. So now they're going clean the inside and outside. Man, that car wash worked actually pretty good. This motherfucker was dirty. I don't get all that taken care of. That's still dirty. <laughs> I, I drove down a slow cow, so you know, that'd be all the oh, bugs yeah, and shit. We're gonna take care of it. <laughs> Look at him, running a train on the truck. Gang bang. We just getting here to ball and ass Bethel's nice ass mansion up in here. What do you think of this house? Big. It's nice. Right? It makes me feel poor. Jeez. Every time I come up here, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something about this man's house. God. Mm, mm, mm. What's good? What's good, boy? I heard pulling the motor out. <laughs> y'all got a package. UPS was delivering something, so I picked it up for y'all. There you go. There's your front run right there. Ooh, he clean. Same power level. Uh, Made like 680. This is my Sierra twin right here. Yo. Silverado Sierra. I want this front end so bad, bro. You talking to your painter? I haven't asked him yet. I'm gonna look for the parts. I'm sure he's done it. Five three also? Yeah. Stock five, three, 78, 75. Stock heads? Uh stock heads, yeah. Just head studded. It's got a boost cam also. Same deal for a lady true track 373s. Man, I should get a highly high rise. It just looks so oh, much better. Wet. Well, we do a fuel system, that might be the go. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do that. This is hella clean. Yep. These wheels is nice too. He on, he on coilovers or no? Nah, stock Sorry. suspension. Sorry. He's about to do uh, coilovers. Yeah. What drop is this? 4.6 probably. Man, this looks good. This could be me right here. So yeah, no, no fancy Holly high rise here. <laughs> well, I might change. I might change. What's good, bro? Dominic. Mike, Mike. Nice to meet you. You work here too? A little bit, sometimes. So. Yeah. yeah. My days off. I got a daughter now, so. You know. I feel that. Yeah. Shit. So it's just homies that that be here working. Yeah. Oh yeah. Homies and family. I like this. Yeah. It's a cool dynamic. Somebody wants a truck built, we build it, and they just stick around forever. <laughs> I mean, you got a swimming pool up here? No, no, we don't. So you got peacocks with no swimming pool? Peacocks no swimming pool. Boy, if you had a swimming pool, you wouldn't get rid of me. Fuck. I'd be, in, I'd be in a gym too. I'd be in your pool naked as shit, speedo, <laughs> on a on a flamingo floaty. <laughs> yeah, for uh, the show gonna need probably. I mean, you can do. You obviously have a return on this, but in the long run, if you want to push power, you can max this out. But I'd probably do an intake with some rails. Oh, you have a motherfucker. You have a bad time also uh, putting oil on this thing. Same. Line. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible time. So I gotta yeah. funnel it and yeah. yeah. Make sure it's not hot. Yeah, no, so I was talking to Jason. We definitely we can look into the fuel system. But the number one thing, dude, is uh the computer upgrade. Yeah, I wanna do the new operating system. That way we can get past this fifteen pound mm -hmm. limit shit with this uh stock map. Yeah, that's for sure gonna be the answer. What are you thinking of doing first? Fuel system first or trying to do the wiring? Shit, I'm down to do everything at once. <laughs> well for the wiring we gotta drop it off at Mike. The wiring dude. I'm down. I'm down to do yeah, both. I talked to him, and he actually, I think, he didn't give me a date, but within like a week or two, he could actually take the truck, leave it at his house, and knock it all out, 
And then I'd say do the fuel system right after that. Yeah, I'm down. Because what's the point of adding the fuel system if we can't even add the boost? So yeah. might as well do that first. Then we can do the fuel system, tune it, start turning it up. And then after we get all that in order, then, you know, third stage suspension. Yeah. Shock <laughs> relocation. Yeah. So I do want to be able to, shocks. I still want to be able to tow too. That's the only thing. I mean, Jason, I mean, Jason's setup got the same. I mean, worst case, we can add bags. When Mike does that, he'll do like a sick ass wire tuck. I mean, it's a truck, so you're still gonna see it. But normally, so he'll pull the wiring, it'll come out under the booster, kind of tuck on the backside. This won't be over the engine. So when he does that, it'll look sick. Like if we get the Holly high ram and all that, he'll make it look real nice. I'm down for sure. I mean, you saw my silver truck. It don't even look like it's wired. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought about the uh, the high ram. Only reason I didn't because I was like, ah, what about the low end torque? I was worried about the torque, but I mean, the red truck feels good. So yeah, the red truck gets it. And it's got a big ass turbo. I mean, that truck's got a high ram and it's not lacking any down low either. Yeah, no, I'm down for it. Since I'll make a part, since I'll start sending you stuff. It's good. So you can order it yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go straight up. So this blow up or nah? Check it out. Check out that hole. Oh right uh, yeah, it definitely blew up. You can weld that back though. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what's going in there. Okay. Hey, so Thanks at 408. Okay, no, no, Stroker. Uh, it's calling the wiring dude, man. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Be the motor said bye bye. Keep going up. So why this 5.3 blow up and your shit's making like triple the power and your shit didn't blow up? Lack of maintenance. Lack of maintenance. <laughs> my boy called me one day and you don't hey, even know what change. Live for your oil change. Oh, this is yours? Yeah. My Man, how you be here all the time? You just, you see all the shit that go down yeah. and you neglecting your, oh, come on, bro. He called me one day and was like, hey, my oil light's on. I was like, check the oil. There's nothing on it. Four cords down. <laughs> Dude, you blew the, the upper and lower pan. Yeah. Oh yeah, the rod came out. Man, this is what I need. As soon as, as soon as he leaves, since he blew his shit up, we're gonna swap this in my truck. <laughs> I'm gonna borrow it. <laughs> so y'all like the Viking stuff? I mean, it's the most commonly used. That or QA1. Boy, look at him. interior is nice and clean too look at these seats I like it gauges all hidden in here hello nice oh yeah if y'all want to check my man's out there he go right there I need the bed line my shit hella bad oh yeah you flipped it too oh yeah a little shake tailgate all right, so we're just getting back to the house. Uh, I actually just came back from O'Reilly's and I wanted to check and see if I had an axle on file for this thing and it turns out I do. So I'm about to be taking that thing back, warranting it out. So maybe today or tomorrow, depending on what I'm doing, I may swap this axle on here. That way I can get this thing back on the road and running. All right, my slave, grab that axle. That? Yeah, that black box. You drop it on the car, you're gonna be on punishment for all summer. <laughs> Old axle right here. See that? A lot of them. But luckily they got a new one right here, so we're gonna warranty this out and break that one again. <laughs> what? Why you running? Why you trying to run off? Mamas. Hi, baby. Good afternoon, mamas. Daddy been going all morning. Baby, yeah, I don't know. I'm just looking and learning, huh? So what name tour you got in the car now? Oh, a lot. I got shit. Probably like five cars that ain't even here right now. Wow. No, I got plenty of parking. <laughs> all right, so right now I got fam over. This is somebody y'all ain't seen in a long time. My man, y'all remember him back in the day? He did the ride along video in the SC. You know what I'm saying? His neck still broke from that ride. Still, still <laughs> healing, still healing, still healing. All right, here we go. 
All right, so I ask everybody. So, what's the fastest car you rode in? Whew. Uh, probably a vet. How a much ZR, horsepower? ZR1. A ZR1? Yeah. That's probably the fastest car I've been in. All right, cool. We're about to, we're about to make this your new fastest car. No, I, I believe it. I believe it. You sure you want to do this? Hey, I'm good. You sure <laughs> hey, I told you I was going to give you a ride in there. You, you did. You did. I wasn't expecting this soon, though. Told you, as soon as I get it back, you'll get a ride. Man, I wasn't expecting it like tonight. <laughs> Man, I thought you still had a couple more days out there with it. Mm. All right. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> Woo! But yeah, we were literally just sitting here chopping it up and stuff. And I was showing him the cars because shit, I didn't have a lot of the stuff when back back then when he rode in SE. So him and Monty came to check out my daughter. So showing him the showing him the stuff now. Showing the new stables. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. I you know I figured you'd already seen the stuff, but nah, nah. nah. Before I show you the vets, I'm gonna show you the, show you the truck. This is the sleeper right here. I see. The inside is whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's a work, right, yeah, yeah. work truck. Right. It's what's underneath the hood that matters. Oh my. Yeah. You got oh a, my. <laughs> she got a big turbo on her. Oh my. Man. Yeah, I just went to uh, went to my boys today. Remember I was telling you I'm gonna have him redo some stuff. We're gonna change his intake up, add two uh, fuel pumps to it, turn up the boost, clean up the wiring, do new operating system so we can. Right now it's limited because the older style ECUs they can only control like a two bar map sensor. Okay. So a two bar map we can only get probably like 14, pushing it maybe six, 16 pounds of boost out of it. But with the new operating system, we can run a three bar map like how I have on the uh, 350Z in there. Gotcha. And then, you know, we can run shit 20, up to 28 pounds, so. Nice. But yeah, we're going, this will, once it's done, this will probably make like eight plus. That's the plan, mm -hmm. turn it up a little bit more. It made six, 690, how it, how it sat with the old turbo. So okay. this is a new turbo since then, and I haven't got to really get on the dyno because the, the freaking converter started slipping on me. Damn. So, so I, this is the stock engine, you just rebuilt it? Didn't even rebuild it. Just added, Bone stock. Just added everything to it. Yeah. All we did was put a cam in it, uh, ARP head studs, head gaskets. Other than that, the block never been never been touched. Damn. It's like a baby cam in there too. So mm. it ain't even nothing crazy, but it'll yeah. it'll support seven seven eight all day. Dude, dude makes ten ten uh ten eighty on his. Really? Yeah. He makes a thousand plus on a stock five three, which is ring gap. So mm, mm, mm. eight hundred on here is like that's cakewalk. It's easy. Yeah. Man, <laughs> damn. Mm -mm. I drove. Do I drove? I just came back from SoCal on that. Really? So it's yeah, it's super reliable. Man, drove it all the way to SoCal with an engine. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Then Man, this is sweet. I'll show you. I'll show you my my favorite. This is the one I was telling you, like my favorite one to drive right here. Okay. Now how long you have this one? The C six. Two, two years, almost three. Okay. I bought the C6 right, uh, I want to say two months after I bought my house. Okay. Should take you on a ride in this one. Oh, boy. <laughs> this one, this one's faster than when you rode in my Lexus back in the day. Really? Yeah, this one's faster than that one now. In, the, in this time. I don't know if I can handle it now. Supercharged stock LS3, it's cam, stock heads, then see a big ass fuel system and a supercharger. Amazing. This is the fun one. AC, everything works good. Man. This is like the one you can drive to church. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
And then this one's essentially the the twin of that one. This one actually has a bigger motor, but this one has a bigger supercharger. Gotcha. So realistically, I, I've just bought LS3 heads for this. So once this has the LS3 heads with a bigger blower, this one will make probably a good amount more than that one. Yeah. So that one's uh, technically a 6.2, and the uh, liter size as far as cubic inches on here goes is this is a 402, so it's like a 6.6 .6 liter. So this is a this is LS2 based. Okay. So it's originally started off as a 6.0, then once we stroked it out, made it to a 6.6. So LS3 and then stroked LS2. All right. But I uh, same supercharger setup. They both run ANAs. Only difference is that one has a way better set of heads. So. Gotcha. Just breathes better. Man. And they sound like different from each other. They do. Yeah. They do. Real different. I try not to do the exact same setup on, on both cars. Like, even though the supercharger and shit like that the same, like, blow off valve, exhaust, everything's, like, different. Right. So, exhaust knows different. Whoosh sounds different. Like, everything's, like, different on the, on the sound effects. Right. Amazing. Now, how long have you had? You had this one longer? Yeah. I had this one longer. This is sweet. This is one uh, I had built for my grandpa. My grandpa used to want a C5 hella bad. Oh, nice. Then I ended up getting it, but I always wanted a C6. So once I did the C5, I was like, all right, it's pretty sick, but I always wanted a C6. So I was like, I'm going to get both of them. Might as well, right? Yeah, I built this one built this one for him, but I might get rid of this one. Oh, really? Yeah. If I if I was to keep a C5, it had to be a C5Z. He wanted a C5Z, so gotcha. the sentimental value is like there, but it ain't there because it's not the exact one he wanted right, for me. Right, I get it. So if I was to redo it, I'd get a C5Z, take this motor out, just swap everything into a C5Z, and then like I'd, that'd be some shit I'd keep for forever. <laughs> Man. The last time you seen this was probably on Jackson's at my granny house, right? Ah, oh, let me go grab the key. That's what I'm saying. I haven't seen. I haven't seen. Oh, let me yet. let me show you. I'll show you. Hold on. <laughs> it was hella funny. He ain't seen this car in years. years. So you remember when I had the yellow car? And this one was like right behind it. Yep. Remember the yellow one was on jack stands. This one was like it was all it was ugly before. Right. So this is this is that car. Man. But yeah, this is the this is essentially this is like the last one I had built. Remember, this is one I was always working on at my granny house. Right. Right. This is it. Yeah, I don't I don't do too much wrenching now. I just take them to shops. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, this is a this is literally the, the last of. Of technically like the car I put together myself. And this is your first one, right? This is my second Z. Remember the first one got messed yeah. up and then I bought this one to swap everything over. Gotcha. So gotcha. I had I got this one, but this this car has the motor that was in my yellow car that was on Jackson's. Oh boy. Basically took my two two cars Ooh. and turned them into a baby. Yes, sir. You haven't seen this? I haven't seen this. Yeah, it's my little, it's the, the nimble one. Man. I've had this motor. This is my very first turbo motor. This is crazy. So these usually come V6. Right. But with the, with the SR in it, you can see how far it sits back. Yeah, I'm looking. It sits back hella far, so the steering, everything feels super light on here. Like for autocrossing, time attack, if you're like going in the canyons and stuff, this would be like a super fun car for that. I took it I took it drifting a couple of times, but it, it really needs an angle kit. That's kind of like the limiting factor on 300 ZX is this, the factory angle 
on these sucks. So I put a rack spacer on it to help, but the last would just be to get an angle kit. And then after that, it will be like perfect, ideally for drifting. Look at the interior, go on the side. Remember, this is a car, this car is a 1992 or three. This oh, is the factory man. suede interior. This is? Yes. What? Only thing I changed in here was the bucket seats and the steering wheel. Other than that, all this down here on the uh, glove box, it's all the factory suede. Damn. It's yeah. like nothing, nothing's really weathered. The dash isn't well, cracked. It looks good. So it's like, I mean, I need to vacuum it. I flew off track, so I got hella dirt in here, but. Gotcha. But man, other than that, it's you clean. It's like a it's like a love a love hate for this thing. Right, right. Part part of me wants to like get rid of it because it's not as fast as my other cars, but the other half is like this is like the last this one makes 450. Okay. 450 in a 2800 pound car ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. But when you got fuck a truck that that makes double that, <laughs> right. you know. Man, so you don't drive it that often then? I drove it two days ago. Okay, so you yeah, do, okay. I do I do drive it. Okay. I told like I started driving it more recently because I was like let me. Let me fall in love with this thing again. Right, like, let right. me start driving and see how I feel about it. That's why I bought that catch can. Okay. Oh, you gonna put that here? Yeah. So you can see right here it has this little freaking. Gotcha. Right here, that's what's catching the oil. But okay. it it what it was fine before, but since we turned up the boost, it's probably just blowing, blowing uh, pressure through it. Gotcha. Compression, everything came back good. So I'm gonna just uh I'm gonna get rid of the PVZ setup and I'm gonna run both lines to a catch can. Oh, okay. And if that doesn't fix it, I'm gonna get the S14 valve cover for it, the S14, and chop it in half. And the S14 valve cover has better baffles, so it'll catch the the oil from getting uh, blew through. Gotcha. I thought at first I was like, ah, maybe the motor's hurt or something, but compression, everything looks fine. So okay. I'm like, ah, it's just, I mean, it's 28 pounds of boost on this little ass four cylinder. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a lot of boost, like in this, like per square inch of boost on this little motor. Like that's a lot. That's a lot, yeah. It's more like unique, if anything. Yeah, it definitely is. It definitely is. People are either swapping Jay Z's or LS's and these, and you have the people that keep everything original. Right. Like it's like a, this is really like a super purest car. It's almost like the RX-7. Once you modify them, the original owner people will be ah, you messed the car up. But right. honestly, like this this car feels way faster than my twin turbo uh, setup that I had. It's just so much lighter. Yeah. Like this yeah. car off the front end, I took like 500 pounds off by swapping the engine. Damn. So front end feels super, it's like super soft. Right. Like going around turns when you're sliding it, like the car feels feels good. It just literally needs a angle kit. Gotcha. If this had an angle kit and the turbo spooled up or made kind of like more low end torque than what it makes, this car would be like perfect. Perfect, huh? Man, well you're close. You're close. Ah. I've been going back and forth. I'm like, am I gonna get rid of it? I'm gonna keep it. Gotcha. gotcha. Like my original plan was to pull this motor out, put it on the engine stand and keep it, and then oh. just put like a, a Jay Z in it or something. Gotcha. Just to you know, kick around in it. Yeah, Jay Z in here would be like my ideal dream setup. Okay. So. Man. Mm -hmm. This is what started it all. Yeah. This is the first car I started vlogging on the channel. So my man said, out of all the cars, the 350Z is his favorite. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I like this body style. There's something about this body style that gets to me. Man, so much better with a Corvette engine, too. I'm about to see. <laughs> I'm about to see. Let's jump this thing real quick. Next to my Lexus, this has the most built engine out of all the other cars. Got you. So, yeah, the Jay-Z is fully built, and this thing's fully built.
how fast it rips? Yeah. That's what I was talking about. That's why she keeps breaking axles. <laughs> it's the axle breaker right here. Then from the front, when you rev it, you hear the supercharger whine. It's like, eh. Say 